Parkland shooting leading to a lot of discussion about school safety changes. And today, a Polk County School Board meeting grew intense with the sheriff and board members going head to head. Reporter Andrea Lyons spent her afternoon at that meeting, which just wrapped up. Andrea, both sides are pretty split over one particular issue here. Well, this was an emotional, intense meeting. School board members firing back at the sheriff for his support for guns in school. Now, this meeting started off very calm. The sheriff was pitching the Guardian program to the school, which would arm highly trained staff, which would include 144 hours of training. They would have to pass psychological and accuracy tests. The sheriff pointing out in a prepared budget showing school resource officers would cost millions of dollars each year compared to armed teachers, which would only cost a fraction and put more trained bodies on the ground. A Parkland parent who lost his daughter in the February shooting spoke to the board today about arming teachers. I could only tell them my experience and what I think and what they should do. And once I tell them that, I did my part. If they're going to ignore it, then if something happens, it's on them, not on me. There are a lot of pe people who don't think like you. You, are, you, rep you represent a big and changing county, and with respect, I don't think you represented them well this, this time. You, 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 you didn't consider what they were thinking. You didn't ask them, and uh, I would encourage you to think differently. Thank you. Now, just like you heard there, shortly after the presentation, the school board members fired back, were even rude at times to the sheriff, insinuating this will only cause more mass chaos in the classroom and possibly even more deadly shootings in schools. Overall, the board did not seem to support the guardian. Now we tried to talk to the board and superintendent, but they would not comment directly to the media. Right now, there are public comments going on inside the board, but there will not be decisions made tonight. Live in Polk County, Andrea Lyon, ABC Action News.